Aries, welcome in guys. Thank you for joining me for another love reading with myself, Joe. We shall not waste no time, Aries. Let's get right into your reading. And your first card is the Ten of Cups. We've got the Five of Swords, King of Wands, Queen of Cups, Wheel of Fortune and the Queen of Wands. So, um, with the Ten of Cups, this is completion. Um, and although the Ten of Cups is completion, and, and very much like, you know, a happy life, happy wife, the house, kids, the car. All of the good stuff that come with completion. Aries, I, I feel like there's, it's like a love cycle coming to its fulfilment then. We've got three counterparts here. If we look at the king of wands as being Aries energy, because this is fire energy, I'm definitely representing Aries here. Um, I feel as though, you know, you've defeated something here emotionally, yeah? And that's what the Five of Cups is, uh, sorry, the Five of Swords is saying here. Something you're feeling defeated about here, or you've defeated something. I'm very much getting that you've defeated something, completed something. Um, and perhaps you were battling with, you know, some thoughts. You, perhaps you thought if you took this step in this direction, you know, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be um, rewarding for you, okay? But this is definitely something that is, is quite heavily emotional for you, okay? And I'm, it could be a case of Aries where you have finally let somebody go emotionally. So we also have the Queen of Cups here, which is water energy. Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio. Uh, you could be connecting with any of those signs, but you do not have to be. It's just the energy I would rather you focus on here. Aries, definitely an emotional hair. Perhaps this is a mother or a father of your children and it was hard to kind of get out of a cycle. Perhaps it was, you know, you were doing it for the children. That could very well be the case here. But that's, I feel like things are wrapping up here emotionally. Yeah, I still feel as though you are connected to this energy here, this person, but emotionally that, that tie has been cut. However, Aries, I feel like this has led your way, that things are turning in your favour, as I said, yeah, with the Wheel of Fortune. It's almost as if you if you thought you took, if you took this, your thoughts were, okay, Aries, do apologise, that if you took this course of action, if you made this change or suggestion even, it wouldn't go in your favour, but the will is actually turning in your favour. It's like, okay, thank you. It's almost as if the universe is saying, well done, you know, for taking this leap, for taking the risk, for doing whatever it is that you have uh, recently done or are going to do, planning on doing it. Yeah? And we've got the King of Queen, King and Queen of Wands here. So that's a clear match. Perhaps you're leaving somebody to go towards somebody else, you know? or you're open to, th to that energy. This is absolutely like, I want to say this is like you and this person or this energy. It's like they reflect who you are, but you see so much of you in this person. And that could have, there's, it's big. This, this is big energy here. I feel like you've walked out of one situation, you've defeated, completed that. And this is the realness here that you are going towards Aries. We're going to read on. It's very interesting there. I feel a very strong connection here between the King and Queen of Wands. And again, this is fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sag Sagittarius. Uh, more than likely a Leo. Doesn't have to be. But just, you know, please do focus more on the energy of the cards than the star signs. Perhaps they've even got lots of Leo in their chart. Okay. Perhaps you are a Leo and you're watching this reading for an Aries. But we shall read on. Let's see. This is Tell me about the King and Queen of Wands. Oh, wow. And look there, can you see that? That's the Leo card again, the sun. And then we have the Emperor, which is your energy again here. Aries, and oh my goodness. Aries, what is going on? It's really looking as though you have taken a leap of faith in a move towards somebody else. So I'm going to be honest with myself and everybody around me. It's, the pull is so strong, so much joy, so much happiness. Perhaps they even bring out your child like side it's like you, you see so much of yourself in this person and vice versa the sun is the happiest card of the deck guys the four of wands soulmate 
twin flame energy even if you like but definitely as i said that, that that's that strong pull to this person that strong connection i feel like you're just this person is irresistible to you like you just float towards them in some sort of sense it's like taking the lead taking responsibility taking control and going after what it is that you want with this emperor energy here definitely focused on this person you, they're irresistible that's how i'm feeling it's like you, you can't get enough of this person you both mirror one another i don't know how this has happened we're not even going to get into that but you know your stories better than i do it looks as though you could have left uh, somebody here emotionally left that connection and moving on to a new okay let's have a look let me look at the uh, queen of wands energy see what that's all about so we have the eight of cups the temperance we also have the ten of pentacles and the five of cups so yeah there's something and i did ask about the queen of wands energy here so something's been left behind perhaps this is in, as i said this could be the mother of or father of uh, your children or maybe perhaps they have children that you were connected to in some way so you stayed you, you wanted to maintain that loyalty with the children or the family even because the ten of pentacles can also represent family here there could have even been some financial ties and again we've got more fire energy so very highly likely that you are connecting with another fire sign here or perhaps they have lots of fire in their chart as i said but the temperance you know it represents balance i pour into you you pour into me that kind of thing but there is this walking away energy so perhaps this is returning to a past person or they are returning to you okay there's some sort of walking away and i feel like more so that's that's your energy because i see you kind of feeling defeating like you've defeated something here and it's been quite the task for you and again we've got sadness crying over spilt milk here perhaps and as i said if this is something from the past okay it, it, it's been difficult for both of you i want to say or more so even your person because i did ask for the queen of wands energy here been hard for them they were totally not focused on this or trying not to always being in the back of their head at the back of their mind even um but just focused on this third party situation even or focus on the things that are not necessarily there yeah. let's get into it okay aries i think we're going to get you an outcome because I, I i like how it's gone so far okay you're you know what you want I'm, I'm not quite sure where this person is at but they have been sad or you know it's kind of bringing the balance and bringing some healing in even between the two of you where is this oh gosh what's blocking this connection then because that's looking like you know, it hasn't happened yet you are going in that direction though early so let's have a look at what's blocking this perhaps someone is blocked ten of wands two of pentacles okay. ten of wands two of pentacles we've also got the ace of wands and oh okay so it is, it's that distance that's blocking it. It is that past then, absolutely. What the cards were screaming to me anyway. It's it's the distance that there has been. So this is a return of a past person. It's almost as if you're going back. Perhaps in the past you were indecisive and definitely things came to an end. That's very clear because it's someone returning or you are returning to a past person here. So something that came to an end, a difficult ending. And, and because of indecisiveness, Perhaps previously, Aries, you didn't know what you wanted. You didn't know that you wanted this person even. But, you know, distance makes the heart grow fonder. Even absence, even. So it's it's kind of been that. There could have been some even pregnancy involved. As I, I do keep getting that there is a mother or a father. There's some sort of children involved. So perhaps this was... And aces are something new. Okay, so I want to say a birth of. Yeah, a birth of something new, a birth of a child. Yeah, so something that took place previously that caused some indecisiveness or perhaps even juggling. So I did get that third party energy earlier, but yes, that's what's blocking the connection there. It's that distance, it's the old energy, it hasn't been healed yet, and more than likely by your person. Now we can get you an outcome. Yeah, let's, let's see where this is going to end up for you.
Okay, okay that's way too many. Let's have a look at what's popped up already. Six of Pentacles in reverse. That's six of Pentacles in reverse. I do apologise for the noise in the background, if you can hear that. I'm sure you're all excited today. King of Cups in reverse. This is the outcome here, Aries. So do you know, follow with me. Right, right. Inky dokey. And we also have the Three of Swords and the Seven of Cups. Six of Pentacles in reverse. King of Cups in reverse. As I said uh, in the beginning of your reading, it's actually it's an emotional release. Releasing this person emotionally. Um, I do still feel like they are around, but this is for a specific reason. You are not giving to them as you were before emotionally. With this Six of Pentacles, that would be, you know, in the upright, somebody giving to two, um, or perhaps even a gift. That's that's not going to be there, okay? Um, by the time you connect with this person, it's like you release any emotional ties you have to somebody here. Um, this may have caused some sort of heartbreak, scattered emotions even. And, and there's the Seven of Cups energy, which is pretty much options, confusions, illusions. Okay, and this is the outcome. So there's going to be a lot of clearing up to do, I want to say. I do believe that you will connect with this person that, you know, reflects you. It's, it's like your mirror, this person, who makes you feel happy. Yeah, brings out the childlike side of you. Yeah. It's, um, um, yeah, I definitely want to say, I don't know why that card's there, but yes, I definitely want to say this is some sort of confusion, delusion, perhaps the person that you have um, emotionally released is, is left feeling heartbroken, feeling deluded. I don't know how you would have put it to this person, even if you were very specific and very clear, they're confused, okay, when people get used to you, as used to a certain type certain way of being it's kind of hard to let go and yes especially if you do share children with uh this person then they would be feeling a little bit sad a little bit heartbroken but the scattered emotions i feel like is this seven of cups energy let's get you some oracle cards aries see what the oracle has to say what advice do you have for aries what's the advice for aries today please Wow, that's free. Let's have a look. Life changing epiphany or experience. It's a time of big and blessed change for you. And God is supporting you each step of the way. You are divinely guided, Aries. And it's a very big change for you. We also have, oh, I don't do oracles in reverse, forgiveness heals. Yeah. Time to release repressed anger as it's blocking your health and happiness so whatever's whatever is bothering you emotionally i guess it needs to be expressed and this could be definitely be a message from your person because there's when i asked what was blocking it's you know it's a lot of past energy so something needs to be released there let let yourself feel all your emotions your entire rainbow spectrum of feelings is sending you important messages and guidance you feel things for a, a reason and all your emotions are valid. Release unnecessary worries. Release the burden of worries by giving them to God for healing and solutions. Definitely a time of divine guidance for you, Aries, because it's, you know, you could be, you could be the one with the scattered emotions here wanting this person done the work, what you needed to do. Uh, with the previous person and gone towards your other person and been met with this um, kind of blocked and then barrier. It's like they've got bars up, barriers in front of them, you know, not allowing you in some sort of, yeah, it's like they're blocking you out. You could even be blocked. So that could be your kind of scattered emotions. You want this so much and you've done what you needed to do, but the person you are wanting to go towards is not ready, open and available to you. And if that's the case, then they just need time and they need healing and please do yeah communicate communication is key in any given relationship partnership whatever it is to you yeah all your emotions are valid as is your persons and anybody around you 
So yes, Aries, that has been your reading. Again, thank you ever so much for tuning in. Please do take what resonates and leave whatever doesn't. Don't force anything to fit with your situation, guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. My readings will not replace any medical or professional advice that you may have received. Um, yes, Aries, take care. Until next time.